La línea de la Concepción, the line of Immaculate Conception, is the border town with the Rock of Gibraltar and has close economic, cultural, social and indeed physical ties with the Gibraltarian people, as you might expect with close neighbours. The population was considered a part of San Roque until 1870, when it was recognised as a town in its own right. The Linenses, the people from La Linea, as well as people from the surrounding Campo de Gibraltar area, have always been able to work in Gibraltar, since there was little employment to be had locally. This of course changed when the border was closed for 17 years, and the town fell into decline. Poverty was commonplace and widespread, with families also enduring separation during this time. But thankfully, the border fully opened in 1985, and trade and reconciliation began again. However, it wasn't a rapid recovery, and employment was still scarce. Smuggling became the principal occupation of the town, with entire families involved, including children and grandmothers. There was no choice, and desperate times calls for desperate measures. Pickpockets and drug dealers roamed freely, and muggings were commonplace. La Linea developed a reputation as a place to be avoided, especially after dark. The film El Niño captures how it was during these times, and life in the back streets of La Linea can also be seen in the film Big Business. As Gibraltar prospered, with investment coming onto the rock, there became more work available for the neighbouring towns, and even to this day some 10,000 to 15,000 people cross the border into Gibraltar for daily work. Investment has also found its way into La Linea, and today the town bears little resemblance to its former self. It could be said it's shedding its reputation of the past and embracing the future. Today, La Linea is a wonderful seaside town. Anyone wanting an authentic Spanish experience with happy, vibrant locals will not be disappointed. The many cafes and tapas bars scattered around the town are a joy to discover, and very reasonably priced too. Fresh fish and locally grown fruit and vegetables tempt the taste buds, and not to forget organic extra virgin olive oil from the abundant olive trees that grow in the vicinity. There are beautiful plazas to explore, where you'll find local children playing, and a delightful little marina where locals and tourists stroll together along the Paseo Maritimo, pausing to watch the sunset and feed the fish swimming in the harbour. There are holiday apartments to rent with wonderful views over the bay to Gibraltar, and if you want a bit of pampering, then there are also hotels right on the seafront with the same views. Five-star accommodation can be found in Gibraltar, but an experience costing less with the same perks is available in this delightful town. The airport is very close by and plane spotters will not be disappointed. Both La Linea and Gibraltar can be explored and enjoyed, and for those that don't wish to hire a car, there's public transport to Tarifa and beyond to Cadiz, or up the coast to Marbella and beyond to Malaga. The friendliness and openness of the people are a huge part of the attraction, along with their big smiles. They go out of their way to make tourists and foreigners feel welcome, and unlike many other places, they charge a fair price and even aim to give you a bargain, especially at the famous La Linea Market. If you go in mid-July, then the market isn't available as it's ferrier time, and the entire town celebrates as everyone gets involved in the festivities. I feel so proud for the Lenenses and their town for how they've evolved. The future looks very bright for them, and even brighter if Gibraltar becomes part of the Schengen area, since this will facilitate more trade, provide more jobs, and bring further prosperity to the area. Finally, families are united, never to be separated again, and Gibraltar and Alinea can show the world how to love thy neighbour. <laughs>